In this topic we will be creating simple enemies for our game. Enemies make games more fun and add new challenges for the player to overcome. To start with we need a new sprite for the enemy. Create a new sprite named SPR underscore enemy. Click edit sprite then create a simple 32 by 32 red circle. Center the sprite and turn on precise collision checking. Now click OK. Now we need another sprite that we will use to block the enemies. Create a new sprite named SPR underscore blocker. Make it a simple green transparent 32 by 32 square. Send the sprite and press OK to save it. Now we can create our objects. Create a new object and name it OBJ underscore blocker. Give it the blocker sprite and hit OK. Now create another sprite and name it OBJ underscore enemy. Give it the enemy sprite and then add a create event to it. Now drag a code block into this event. Type SPD equals 4. We will use this variable to set the enemy's speed. Add a new line and type DIR equals 1. This variable will be used to change the object's moving direction. Tick off the create event code and now add a step event and drag a code block into it. Type if DIR equals 1. This checks our variable DIR to see if it is equal to 1 or not. If it is, we want to move to the right. Add in some curly braces and type x plus equals spd. Now on a new line, type else and then add in another set of curly braces. In between them, type x minus equals spd. Now it will check the direction. If it is equal to 1, it will move right. If it isn't, then it will move left. Now we need to make it change direction when it collides with the blocker. Tick off the code and add a collision event with the blocker object. Now drag a code block into it. Type if dir equals 1, then add a set of curly braces. In between those, type dir equals 0. Now in a new line, type else, and then another set of curly braces. Then in between those, dir equals 1. This checks the current direction, and if it equals 1, it is changed to 0. If not, it is changed to 1. Tick off the code and tick off the object. Now bring up your room. Put the enemy somewhere in your level. Now add two blockers either side of it. The enemy will move from side to side between these blockers. Run your game, and if all goes well you should see the enemy move between the blockers. You won't want an ugly square showing up in your game, so we should make the blocker invisible to the player. To do this, close the game and bring up the blocker object. Now uncheck the visible option to the left of the object interface. Click OK on the object and run your game again. As you can see, the squares are no longer visible, but the enemy still collides with them. Close your game. Right now, the player can collide with the enemies and nothing will happen. To make the player die, simply open up the player object. Now duplicate the collision event with the spike and make it a collision event with the enemy instead. Run your game again and make the player collide with the enemy. If all goes well, your player should collide with the enemy and the game should restart. That's it for making a simple enemy. You should now have a good idea of how to make an object move between two points. This technique can also be used on moving platforms. You should also now know how to duplicate an event and make an object invisible to the player. In the next video, we will look at creating lives and scores.